We have come here today to honor the life and the military service of Lieutenant Colonel Samuel C. Wood. We entered this life on June the 9th, 1922, and departed on August the 26th, of the year 2001. Lieutenant Colonel Wood served our country proudly during the years of 1942 through 1975, the periods of World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. And so it is that we are grateful to assemble here and honor him today. Lieutenant Colonel Wood was preceded in death by his wife Martha, who died in 1993, and she is brought here as well, that they may rest together. Here at Arlington National Cemetery, we are surrounded by heroes of our freedom, past, present, and future. Silently, the spirit of America's heroes who rest in this garden speak to us and approve of our being today. And I believe that God smiles down on this event and whispers, to these his servants, well done, thou good and faithful servants. Our present and future heroes are here as well, the members of the 3rd Infantry Regiment, who are, who are charged with carrying on the values for which our brother so willingly and bravely served. At this time, let us pause and reflect upon our faith in the reading of the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Shall we pray? Loving Lord, we are grateful to assemble here today to honor a great man who was a great soldier and lived a great life. We're here to honor his wife as well. We're grateful, Lord, for the lives that they lived and the contributions they made for the good of us all. And so we would ask that as we remember them and honor them this morning, that you would grace us with your presence. That would make this event truly and honor to them both. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. I'd like to read just a brief portion of the 91st Psalm. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and see you unto myself to where I am. There you may be also. Therefore, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, crucified and risen, we commit these his servants back to God, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust, in firm confidence that God who raised Jesus from the dead will on the day of resurrection do so likewise for all his children.
ladies and gentlemen, it does complete service to clear off the plan for the center point. If you all would like to visit the center before.